Mark, what are you doing? I'm trying to conduct all these workflows, but it's so much work to manage. What well, you do that yourself. You should use Google Cloud Composer. What's Google Cloud Composer? Ah, let me show you. So let's say that you have a data workflow to collect, to move, to transform, and check this data. And all this task needs to be finished at the same time every day. So you need to make sure that you can schedule, monitor, restart, and even chain different tasks together. Google Cloud Composer is a fully managed version of Apache Airflow and will let you do all this. So for anyone already familiar with Airflow, it's like the same thing, but you don't have to worry about managing the infrastructure. Exactly, yeah. Oh, that sounds really useful. Can we look more at your example? Yeah. In this architecture, for example, a workflow will move data from table in BigQuery in the US to BigQuery in the EU. To do that, we are exporting and transferring data between two different Google Cloud Storage buckets. Let's jump to the interface. Here is a list of the environment for Google Cloud Platform. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a new one. So here, you are adding the name of the new environment. You can just choose the location, US Central 1 here, and no preference on zone. There are other configuration points, but I'm not going to show you this. So let's do Create. So while the environment is creating, we are going to see an example. OK, so here you have uh, all the details of the environment. And you also have, for example, um, for this one, the work nodes. You can just check here. And uh, we are going to go inside the Airflow UI, which is created automatically. And this is a console where you store all of your DAGs. So wait, what, what's a DAG? A DAG is a directed acyclic graph, of course. A DAG is like a workflow. Think of it as an organized list of tasks that you want to run. Let me show you that. Let's look inside the code. So inside the code view, we can see all the code for this DAG. So here on the bottom, you are going to see all the tasks. So for example, I start. And after I take the data from uh, BigQuery, I export that to Cloud Storage. From Cloud Storage, I'm going to move the data from US to EU. And when it's inside the EU, I'm going to start importing back the data inside, inside BigQ. So let's go back to the DAG. So I'm going to start the DAG just now. It's normally done automatically, but I'm going to manually start the DAG. And there are different ways to see the DAG running. So for example, I'm going to show you the tree view. And there are also a nice one, which is the graph view, where I can see all the status of all the tasks. Here, for example, the task is soon going to be queued. Yes, here. And uh, the task is soon going to be started. So one of the beauty as well of a uh, Cloud Composer is that you can just see the execution of the DAGs uh, day after time. So here, for example, you have all the landing times where you can start looking at the execution over time. So now you can monitor all your workflows and relax and be sure your job will be completed on time. Wow, that's awesome. Now I'm feeling much more composed. Get off the stage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.